So uh, I just bought a new house. I've been trying to fix it up. I've been going to the Home Depot a lot because the Home Depot has managed to trick us into thinking that we could do it ourselves. <laughs> so stop telling people this nonsense. Hey, you could do that yourself. Meanwhile, do what yourself? Ruin your house yourself? <laughs> Hurt yourself yourself? Is there some pride to be taken in doing a half-ass job around the house on some project that takes you six weeks when a professional can do it in an hour? <laughs> Why are people in such denial when it comes to houses? Let's all face it. When it comes to a house, you're not qualified to do anything yourself. You couldn't even find a house yourself. You had to hire somebody, pay them a portion of what the house cost to show you where the house was. <laughs> couldn't afford it yourself, had to get a loan from the bank. Not even your house for another 25 years. I'm sick of that little lie too. I own this house, you don't own this house. Miss a couple payments, we'll find out who the real owner of that house is. <laughs> You'll be getting strongly worded letters from the true owner of that house trying to remove your ass from that house. <laughs> Ridiculous, do it yourself. I don't care what breaks in your house, find somebody who can fix it. There are people on the planet that can fix anything that breaks in the house. Do not let the Home Depot trick you into thinking that you're a carpenter or a plumber this week. They brainwash these people, use the tools that professionals use. Some people hear that, they think I can use the same tools they use? What the hell I need them for? <laughs> Go down to Home Depot, get all these tools, get back home and you realize, wait a minute, I'm not a professional. <laughs> yeah, you left something at the Home Depot, skill. <laughs> There's no skill aisle at the Home Depot, but they'll rent you any old dangerous ass piece of equipment. Show them a driver's license, you're qualified to cut your arm off as far as they're concerned. <laughs> so frustrated, because I fell for this nonsense. I went down there to get a miter saw, never used a miter saw before in my life. Walking there like I knew I was doing. Can I get a miter saw? Guy behind the counter is like, so you want a chop saw? I'm like, no, I want a miter saw. He's like, yeah, cut off saw. That's when I realized I was in trouble. <laughs> you see, the people who know how to use these tools have given them nicknames. It sounds like what'll happen to you if you don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> I think that's a good policy. If you're not a carpenter, you can't ask for a nail gun. It's not a nail gun to you. You gotta ask for it according to your qualifications. Just walk in there and be all humble like, uh, do you have an across the room eye putter out there, everyone else? <laughs> A high powered hand and foot impaler for a job I'm trying to do. <laughs> don't do it yourself. I'm appalled at the people at the Home Depot talking people into this nonsense. Meanwhile, they don't want to work at all. Have you been to a Home Depot? <laughs> they got self service checkout at the Home Depot. So apparently, they want you to do everything yourself. <laughs> Coming down there buying things you can't afford to do a job you're not qualified to do, and now you got to work to register too. <laughs> they should change the name of the store. They should call it You're On Your Own. That should be the name of the store. Nobody's working at the Home Depot, nobody. They look like they're there to work. They all got those nice bright orange aprons on. I asked the guy, what the hell's an apron for? Keep the work off of you? <laughs> and I've never seen so many birds indoors in my life. Can somebody explain this to me? <laughs> Home Depot's so big, birds are flying around for hours, they don't see a wall, they think they're outside. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so cranky now, I'm getting older, you know. Uh, birthday coming up in about a month, I'll be 57. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's nice to hear. Yeah. I told the woman how old it was. She said, you look good for your age. Which sounds like a compliment till you start to remember that people used to just say, you look good, period. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of the modified compliment. Doesn't sound too complimentary. And for your age, this has no place in a compliment. A compliment should end with the most complimentary phrase in that sentence. That's a proper compliment. You look good, period. That's the end of the compliment right there. Like, I didn't say to her, that dress fits you nice for someone your size. I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, because we can all hear it. That's not a compliment. <laughs> it's a statement. <laughs> I'm just not sure how nice it is. I call that a compliment slash insult, a complice all. That's what that is. Yeah, 57 years old, never married, no kids. That's my stats. That's right. Yeah, I tell some people that, you know, they look at me kind of weird. Ooh, what's going on in his life? Everything. That's what's going on in my life. My married friends happen to think they're in a better situation than me. If you're married, stop player hating on your single friends. Stop trying to make us think we did something so terrible by not getting married. I'm not getting married. I'm not good for marriage. If you're married, enjoy that. My friends act like they pity me, you know. Oh, Mario, how come you're not married? I'm like, I don't know. Just trying to stay happy, I guess. <laughs> uh, I've seen the look of happily married people. I don't like the look. If you're married, enjoy that. That was your choice. I'm not doing it. People try to scare you into it. I'm supposed to be going through a midlife crisis. Boy, I used to be afraid of that when I was younger. Sounds like a man gets to a certain age and terrible things start to happen. Well, it turns out that when you're single and you go through a midlife crisis, it doesn't feel like a crisis at all. 
<laughs> got a new house, new car, great job. I'm dating women half my age. Feels more like a midlife Christmas for all I can see. <laughs> Thank you, that's my time, y'all. Thanks a lot.